Physical separation techniques. Well, a mixture is a material composed of two or more pure substances. For example, salt in water is a mixture. Also, mud in water or dirt in water. In sodium chloride in water, there's only one phase. It's completely uniform. But with muddy water, there's these particles of mud in the water. There's two phases, the mud portion and the water. It's non-uniform. Homogeneous describes uniform throughout. Heterogeneous describes non-uniform or more than one phase. So mixtures can be separated and physical techniques are needed or used, not chemical. You don't have to break any chemical bonds. Why the simplest and probably most familiar is filtration. We put a filter in to separate uh, a heterogeneous mixture where particle sizes vary. The water, for example, is made of tiny particles that fit through the filter paper. Another residue, say mud, does not. So separation is based on particle size. Distillation is a different kind of physical separation. If we heat up a liquid in a round bottom flask, say alcohol and water, the two um, uh, pure substances, they, well, they have different boiling points. The mixture of alcohol and water will boil at a certain temperature. We often need to keep track of this with a thermometer placed in the distillation apparatus. We place a cooling condenser with a glass jacket and water flowing through it on the outside, completely separate, but the water cooling allows condensation to occur and for us to collect the condensate. Since alcohol boils at a lower temperature, we'll get more alcohol in the beaker and leave more water in the, uh, in the uh, heat the flask that we're heating. So notice that mixtures, they change their boiling point because the composition changes. More alcohol earlier, less later. And chromatography is a separation technique. Paper chromatography can be done by placing an ink, say, at the bottom of a piece of uh, tissue paper or chromatography paper and dipping it into water. The water runs up the paper uh, and carries the inks with it, but the different colored inks may well travel at a different speed and so have a shorter distance, as the yellow is, or a longer distance, with, as is blue. We often compare them by dividing them, and this is called the ratio of fronts. The difference in the tendency to move with the solvent is the physical property which we use to keep them separate, or to separate them. Thanks very much.